I can't believe it. I've been in tech for over eight years now. So much has happened in my life. I've gone through so many things. I went through, now I can say, multiple layoffs. I've worked for too many tech companies. I went from making less than 50K a year to now making more than I could ever dream of. And I have so much to share. <laughs> so my name is Chris Sean. I've been in tech for over eight years and this is what I've learned. The first thing that I've learned so far after working in tech is this. Number one, what you know now may not be valuable down the line. What your company hired for you to do now may not be what they need you to do later down the line. What do I mean? Tech is constantly evolving. Tech is constantly changing. Tech, especially in the AI space, is moving at such a high speed pace. It, it's it's almost it's almost it feels like it's impossible to catch up. Vector databases came out. Rag came out. Right, text to SQL frameworks came out. All types of AI companies are coming out. Now there's this cursor AI thing that helps you code, which I haven't even checked out yet. And before that, it was GitHub Copilot that was a thing. And before that, there was this other AI company that everyone feared would replace all developers. But what I'm trying to say is things are constantly changing and evolving in tech. And so, yes, you may have a tech job now, or yes, you may want that particular tech job now, but what, you know, what skills you need to obtain that job may change down the line. So what I've learned is that over the last couple of years working in tech is yes, they hired me for what I know now, but they may not want to keep me down the line just because of what I know now. They'll want to keep me because of what I know later. So what am I doing now? I'm making sure I'm learning other things. That it's not just this particular technology that I work with, but I'm always improving myself and learning. Number two, Layoffs are now more normal than ever. I remember when the tech layoffs started happening two years ago, maybe it was like close to three years now. Everyone thought, okay, this, this will just happen for a year or two. Tech layoffs, tech layoffs, right? But Intel recently laid off a ton of employees. Layoffs are now more normal than ever, and you must expect them to happen. Like, I have a tech job. I hope that I still have this job in one or two years, but I'm going to live my life like... I won't have it in six months. I'm gonna make sure that I do have that savings. I mean, literally, dudes, I, I got approved to buy a house, right? I got a pre-approval, got the letter from my bank to actually buy a home. I'm like, okay, I can afford this. The monthly payment, total payment, including property tax, insurance is less than 10% of my monthly income after taxes. But I might lose my job. And then they'll go from 10% of my monthly income taxes to maybe 50, to maybe 60 or 70% of what I make after taxes, right? With my, high, my, my side hustles. That's not gonna work out because I work in tech where no job is secure right now. So you need to understand that. So then how do you combat that? You combat that by my first point, which is always learning and always improving. Unfortunately, that is the, the space we're in now in tech. And it's your job to make sure you be the best possible employee you could potentially be. Work your butt off. Work harder than everyone else. And that still might not guarantee you keep a job, but you have a higher chance of keeping it anyway at your next role or that current role. The third thing I've learned is no one gives a damn about you. S to be honest, no one cares about you, right? They care about you as long as you give value to them. But the moment you stop giving value to that company, to your team, they will cut you off just like that. I remember I had a job where a manager told me that if layoffs would ever happen, they would tell us way in advance, or if not, not even layoffs, if they were not happy with our performance, they would tell us way in advance. Guess what, they never told us and they let us go like that. But you have to understand that's business. If you're not helping the company make money, they will let you go, so now you need to adjust your actions and the, and the things you work on, your impact by how you're helping the company bring in revenue. Because if you're helping the company bring in revenue, they'll want you. But please remember that no company is a family, that you are only a number at the end of the day, and no one gives a damn about you. Last but not least, I know there's a lot of things I can say, but the last thing I'm learning in tech is <sighs> I'm honestly here for the money. I mean, I, I, love, I love my job. I love what I get to do. 
it's fun and it's easy for me very easy for me so I'm very fortunate for that but the only reason I'm still here after eight years almost a decade and I thought I wouldn't even last three years I'm, I, I'm here at eight years now now aiming for nine is that I love I love my job. I love working in tech, but the main reason I'm here is for the money, and there's nothing wrong with that. If there are folks out there who are are grinding hard on you and saying, "Yo, you can't just do this for money. You have to you have to love the code." Now I like coding, but I don't love it like I used to. Not even close. I do it because it pays the bills. I do it because it pays great. I do it because it helps my family have a great life and a great future. But you do not have to absolutely love this and have a big passion for it to make good money. Now it helps, it'll be much easier for you and you potentially go further in your career, but you don't have to love it. You do have to work hard on it, but it's okay to do this for the money. Cause I'm gonna tell you this, I do it for the money. And dang, I love how much I get paid. <laughs> I freaking love it. I still can't believe it. When I talk with my, my, my friends, I'm like, I still can't believe I get paid this much. That's not even fair because the job is so easy for me, but I work to get here. But I do it because, yeah, it pays well. I do it for the money. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, anyway, there's a, lot, there's a lot of things that I've learned. And I don't want to make this video too long. I want to make this video short. If there's anything else, though, please, if there's anything that you've learned over your X amount of years you've been in tech so far, please let me know in the comment section below. And um, I hope you guys like this kind of video where it's just straightforward, not a lot of editing. Uh, please let me know what you think. Anyway, I'll see you all next video. All right, peace.